Here in Caesarea, there's a Crusader gate. Now, that's not going back to biblical times. That actually goes between the 12th and 13th centuries, where the French actually built this gate to the Crusader city built over the ancient city that Herod the Great built. But what's important is I'm standing in front of the gate, which was one of the main entrances to the city. And you have to understand that this was the most, uh, it was the weakest spot in any uh, fortress wall. That was the gate. So they did the most to protect it. The gate's a weak spot. You want to make sure nothing can penetrate this thing. And what they did is they built the gate on angles. Over here, you see that there's a, a bridge back here. There's a moat off to the side that goes way in the back. And then you have to make a left-hand turn to go into this gate. And as you follow into this gate, coming in here, there would be, of course, right where I'm standing, there would have been a great uh, uh, gate that would uh, open and close, it would, how they would bar the gates against people. But if you're charging through, you have to make these turns. The first turn you're going to make is a left-hand turn. And then you're going to go through and you can see the gate right here where you're going to make a right-hand turn. Now what's important about this is that you're breaking the momentum of the charge, the enemy can't get in there slowed down, and then up behind me you have soldiers in this area, archers up in here that are going to shoot down at these guys. You have up above over here by the main gate, a thing called a murder hole where they drop, drop uh, boiling oil or sometimes sewage on these people in order to stop them from doing things. But then you get to this corner here, and if you're coming around the corner, first of all, there were no lefties in those days. They were all people that were right-handed. That's what they forced you to do for a variety of reasons. That means that your shield is in your left hand, your sword is in your right hand, and when you go to go around the corner, you're exposed. The shield on your left hand, you can't you can't fight with your right hand while you're making this right hand turn going through this gate. So it makes you extremely vulnerable going through. You can be attacked, but you can't attack well at all. So they did everything they could to protect the gates. What's my point? Listen, we have gates going into our bodies, as it were. We have the gate of our mind, the gate of our heart. And frankly, the enemy wants in, and he wants to compromise that in any way he can. These people did everything they could to try and protect these gates and make it difficult for the enemy to come in, if not just plain take the enemy down on the way in. Make sure that as you follow Jesus, you keep your gates protected and well protected because the enemy